All right, let's take a look at this shot with influencer and basketball hooper, athlete, and model, Ari. We shot this out at the Pearl in San Antonio. So uh, a couple things. I like the shot, but um, there's a soft box up in the left-hand corner that creeped into the shot. And then a little bit of the, the leg from the stand in the lower left-hand corner. And then there's a gentleman walking back behind her back here. I was trying to line up the shot. There was people walking by. And sometimes you can line up the shot where you can hide the people behind um, the model as you're shooting um, that's one tactic but I kind of missed here I was just going more for the composition the leading lines and the framing um, so let's just get going uh, the first thing that I will do here is let's get rid of the softbox I'm going to do a control minus just give myself you know a little bit of room and uh, we'll go I'm just using let's use the the lasso tool here instead okay and I'm just going to lasso around the softbox, okay? And then I'm just going to do a generative fill. Let me move myself out of the way. Where is that generative fill box? There it is. So we'll do a... Let's move that up here. Generative fill, and we'll just say generate. Not going to give it any commands or anything else. We're going to let it read our minds because Photoshop knows what you want to do. Takes a minute or so. All right, just like that. I mean, you get three options up here to choose from, but uh, we can look at them, but I'm liking what I see right off the bat. Um, I think there was maybe a little, like a little, see there's like a line there that I can see. I don't know if you can see it. Not loving that. That one's a little better. Okay, so I'm going to go with the second one. I don't know if you're noticing this. I mean, it's not perfect, but not really noticeable. Um, if you go with this one, I don't know if you can see that, but there is like a faint line where the softbox used to be, right? So I'm not loving that. The second one still has a little bit of a faint line. Not as noticeable though, and I think I'm liking that one a little bit better. I could, you know, go in and smooth these out with some clone stamp or whatever, but I really don't think that it's all that noticeable to you once you zoom out. So we'll we'll do that. So I'm just going to go ahead and flatten this down. I'm just going to right click on the background and choose flatten image. Now we're we're at the base layer again. Um, Control J again. We'll duplicate that layer. And let's see. Let's use the remove tool just to remove this stand. So let's go up and that's going to be this one right here. If you don't see it, um, you can long click and you'll have the healing brush tool and then below that is the remove tool, right? Right and left bracket key next to the P key will resize your, your tool here and then we just click and drag and just like that, the stand is gone, right? The, or the leg of the stand. So we're doing pretty good here. Um, I would say let's just uh see what happens we'll move me out of the way again i'm just in the way today i'm just going to go in with this remove tool um let me do a select subject let's do that so we'll go up and we'll choose the quick selection tool i want to isolate her so i'm going to choose select subject once you click the quick selection tool choose select subject up here at the top you should see that button and it'll take a minute it usually does a really good job so the reason i'm doing this all right let's select inverse i'm going to right click on that selection and choose select inverse now i've got her isolated i can use the come over here use that remove tool again and let's just come over here because i don't want to remove her right but i want to remove this dude right here and that just gives me a nice area there where i can remove him but not remove her right it gives me a good outline and he's gone so pretty good so i'm going to control minus again and i'm almost done let's just crop it for Instagram, I can click the crop tool right here and I'm going to choose four by five as my ratio. That's the Instagram crop. And, you know, I'm pretty I like the the expansiveness of this roof or whatever this is on this bridge. So I'm going to just bring this down here um, and we'll do that. And let's just do a generative expand. So for the fill up here, choose generative expand and that's going to use the AI. We'll hit the checkbox. And let's see how it does. Should give us three options right over here to choose from once it's done. 
All right, and through the magic of video editing, I sped that process up a little bit. It took longer than what you saw there. So pretty good. The thing I don't like about Generative Expand when you're using the edges is it leaves a little line. Um, that annoys me. Like, you see this line? Like, why does it do that? If someone has a tip, a hint on that, let me know. I, I just, I hate that. Um, because it makes it, it's cool and everything, but then I've got to do a lot more work to make, to fix that line, right? Just don't put the line there. Why is it doing that? There's another line. That one's even more pronounced. I mean, it's doing a good job filling it in, but I'm just like, come on. So that's less pronounced, but the fill is not as good. So, you know, we could come over here. You know, I don't know. Maybe we do another one. Generate again. Let's try it again. That is the only thing about generative fill that I've noticed that I don't like. If you guys have a fix for that, let me know. Maybe I'm doing it wrong. You know, I just know how to do what I do in Photoshop, and that's about it. <laughs> I don't know how to do much else. So, you know, we got the same thing. There's like a little line. It didn't do it as much. It's a little bit over here, too, but, you know, it does a good job. So I'm going to, I'm not going to fault it too much, but if you guys know how to fix that line over there, other than having to do like some edits afterwards and make it less pronounced. All right, so we'll go with that first one. Um, I'm liking that. I'm just looking at the sides here. Um, that's good. So we'll flatten all that down. So how do I get rid of that line? Hmm. Well, maybe we just go in with the clone stamp tool right here. Let's do a control J new layer in case I screw it up. Right. And right and left bracket key, uh, fixes the tool size and let's do a flow of like 30% right up here. And we'll zoom in, and I just want to make these lines a little less pronounced. So I'm going to bring my tool down just a little bit. I'm going to sample this spot right here, and I'm just going to come in here. I'll lift up, maybe do a little bit of a smaller sample here. So we're just trying to make this line, you know, a little less noticeable. We'll come here, kind of break it up a little bit, right? So it's not. So that's better, right? I don't notice it as much down here, mostly in the dark spots. So maybe that right there, but that looks like part of the, so just with the clone stamp, I could come up here and get it in the corners a little bit too. Um, maybe sample, you know, this spot right here and just kind of go up a little bit. And I'm just kind of wiping over the, it's, I don't know if you guys can even see the line. I can see it, and it, it bothers me. So, um, I still see the line from the softbox earlier, right there. So you could come in here and just you just got to be careful where you're sampling, and you can just kind of brush over it a little bit. I'm just holding down the Alt or Option key, grabbing a sample, and moving across. Now, if you get some ghosting to where it does something you don't want, you can hit Control Z, which is undo, and you can hit that multiple times, right? undo what you did and then kind of start over right so I'm kind of getting these spots where that softbox was kind of fixing that line that was created from the generative fill and just like that we're done so thanks for tuning in glad you liked the edit or maybe you didn't like the edit I don't know let me know if you like the edit um, if you did give it a like uh, give it a subscribe. I've got lots of BTS photo shoot stuff and lots of Photoshop videos. So do go check them out. Thanks for watching.